Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I haven't been around in a while. Just been busy, stuff going on. But I really wanted to do this video. It's not going to be a very long one, but I wanted to. Um, anybody that's doing Holly carburetors, and um, if you're tuning them and doing whatever, I was turned on to this by my good friend Jimmy Lopez, and I wanted to share it with other people. And. Um, <clears throat> What it comes down to is he told me about this last year and I didn't do anything about it. I was kind of done racing. Uh, I'm in the process of rebuilding a uh, Holley HP 1000 CFM carburetor for the old Ford behind me. And um, I bought a drill set. Uh, it's a drill blank set. This, this over here. So I picked this up at uh, good old Amy's on. And uh, get that straightened out. So anyway, now here's something. If you look on this sheet here, and I hope that's turning out good. But you'll see that the jet sizes are correlated by drill bit sizes. So. Let me move this down here a little bit. Okay. You won't get to see my wonderful smiling face. So, what happened was, this carburetor had 84 jets in it, squared, all the way around. Okay. Well, according to our sheet here, 84 is an 099 drill size. Now, by our little drill set here, Okay, this is an 099 machined drill blank. Okay, so this is very accurate. So what Jimmy told me to buy, and he says, and start checking your jets. I thought, yeah, okay, all right, whatever. You know, I'll give it a shot. So, uh, actually, last night, my OCD was kicking in, and I went over some jets, and... Now, I'm not going to bore you. I'm not going to bore you with every jet that I have. But uh, try to get these out of here. Now these are all these jets. If I remember right. Yep, this is 84. This is an 84. And this is an 84, okay? So every one of these jets are all the same stamped number from Holly. Now, my good friend Mr. Duffy, many, many years ago, said, don't go by the number stamped, go by the drill size. So if, again, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, let's see. But on here... Anybody that's ever seen one of these drill charts, you can Google it, uh, Howie Standard Main Jet Chart, and you'll see that um, 88, 89, 80, 88, 89, and 90 use a 104 drill size. Okay, according to Howie, this has always been something we've been b led to believe that all oh, there's a different flow characteristic characteristic to the jet. So. Okay, fine. Whatever that is. Okay. We're just going to work with the 84 because this works with every jet that we have right now. Okay. So, here's our 99 drill blank. Okay. And here's our number 84 drill. Okay. Or your jet. Drill blank, jet. Okay. As you can see, you can't put it in the jet. Okay. Here's another one. You can't put it in the jet. Another one. Can't put it. Just, it just, I mean, it just wants to start. So here's our 199. We're going to put that back. And we're going to grab a 97. Okay. And 097 slides right in. Okay. Now. 097 won't fit in this one. 
Okay, so we'll get rid of the 97. And I actually marked these jets last night. Uh, I lied. No, I didn't. I didn't do that one. 96, nope. 95. No, not really. 94 is going to go right in there. So here's an 94. So this is an 094 drill size in a number 84 jet that's supposed to be an 099 jet. So the reason I did this was I wanted the baseline for this carburetor that I'm putting together. The carburetor came from the factory with 84 jets squared power valves front and back. So an 84 jet should be an 099 drill bit size. So if you're going to start to tune your carburetor, you're figuring that that's the drill bit size jet that you're going to be using. And as you see, there's the 94. Okay. That was 94 was the first one. This one I think is a 95. Let me just double check that. I'm sorry. Let me grab this one here. Okay, so 95. This is a 95, and this is a 97, which is still short. Now, these are not just three random, you know, jets that don't work. Every jet in this little array of jets, okay, I don't want to dump these over, but if you, you know, if you could see, you know, and I've been collecting these jets and buying them and tuning carburetors for the last 40 years okay so everything <laughs> I, as I told my friend Jimmy last night I says you pulled the curtain back on the wizard just like in Wizard of Oz we got to see the wizard well this is what we got to see with these jets and I'm not real happy about it because some people may say, well, it's only 1% or 2% or 3% or 4% or 5%. Well, anybody that's tuned to Holly Carburetor knows that you tune by jet. Okay, so if you're starting with an 84 jet and the motor is lean and you step up to the next size jet, which would be an 85, okay? I mean, the 85 jet is a 100. Okay, or right. I know it's only 1,000, but that's, you know, they'll tell you to go up one or two sizes. But when your five drill sizes small from what the jet is supposed to start out to be, how are you actually going to tune your carburetor? How is that possible? How can you actually do that correctly? And I'll tell you what, if anybody's tuning Holly carburetors, um, I really suggest buying this drill blank set. I, I bought it at Amazon. Just, you know, put in, uh, let's see, what does it say up on the top here? Uh, this thing's not cooperating. It's uh, an M1 minus 190 piece uh, drill blank, uh, you know, set is what it is. And uh, it's 190 pieces. It goes from 061 all the way up to 250. Um, I bought it strictly for this reason. You can use this on nitrous jets. You can use it on anything. I mean, anything that needs to be measured. Uh, here's a perfect example. Uh, here's a uh, metering block. The metering block, again, you tune with a power valve. Well, the power valve restriction is this little hole right here. I don't know if you can see that. But this little hole that's right here, okay? When the power valve opens, it releases more gas into the into the uh, engine. Okay, that's how you tune it. You can run a leaner jet, and under wide open throttle, this power valve right here will go ahead and open up. Okay, it screws right into here. That opens up by the vacuum number that's on it and releases more gas into the engine. So you can run a little smaller jet and you can use a power valve to add. Now this is a rear, this carburetor for some reason came with a power valve in the back. I'm going to block this off 
and uh, actually I have a block off right here see a block off so I'm gonna block this off and I'm gonna jet this carburetor accordingly but the point the main point of this was is check your jets because I've been doing this for a very very long time and I always believe you can learn something every day well I learned that these jets are not what they say they are they are not an 84 99 thousandth drill bit maybe some guys will say I'm full of hooey and that it doesn't matter but to me if that is supposed to be the size flowing gas through this jet okay and it doesn't fit okay what does that tell you okay this fits into it this is a 95 okay I'm getting a little confused here yep, that won't fit in that one so this is the 95 so this one here is four hundred thousandths, whatever it is. I'm not a real good mathematician, but uh, I am a gearhead. And this is small. So to me, this is incorrect. So check your jets. I have a big selection. If you don't have a big selection and you want to be jetting in carburetors, look into other brands other than Holly for your carburetor needs there's ATM innovations there's max jet uh, they're custom-made jets and they're drilled to size not uh, I don't know Monday morning or Friday night uh, drilling and who knows what's going on here so I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to elaborate on this I, I really did I really wanted to put this out here and let everybody know um, what I found and you know what if it can help one guy you know that's great that's all I really care about you know and uh, check them you know what for 40 some bucks for this drill bit size if you're doing a lot of carburetors if you're if you're changing stuff you're doing stuff you know you're you're working on your carb you know these are jet extensions for the rear you know if anybody knows they extend further back into the bowl you know so the the jet picks up on the launch it's picking up gas further inside it inside of here you know you can see there's notches here and that uh, that that fits in there you know like so uh, I know I'm not really getting a good shot here um, so that fits in there you know when you're trying to make horsepower it's all this stupid stuff and I really thank my friend Jimmy he's an excellent engine builder and he's a good friend and he and he teaches and I says you know what after 40 years I'm still learning and that's a good thing I guess but I just wanted to pass it on let everybody know like share up subscribe uh, I hope you enjoyed us and uh, you know I hope uh, I hope somebody learned something out of it okay uh, thanks a lot have a good one